Hey gang, Tim here at Crow Electronics, and today we're gonna make a video looping monster with the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. Raspberry Pi 4 Model Bs are perfect tools to use as a low power, small footprint video looper, be it for a promotional kiosk, art installation, storefront, or a home gamer project. Having a device that you can turn on, stick a USB filled with videos and have it loop through all those videos endlessly is super valuable. No faffing around with controllers or settings, plug and play. Then if you want to play a different video, just hot swap out a new USB stick with new videos and then have it automatically start playing those new videos. This guide, I will go through the process of turning a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B easily into a veritable plug and play HD video looping monster. There are a couple of objects you need to get to get this Raspberry Pi 4 to run as a video looper. Starting with, naturally, the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. We're also gonna need an SD card with noobs installed. We're gonna need a HDMI to micro HDMI plug. We're gonna need a thumb drive, whatever you'd like to call it, filled with videos that we're gonna play. We're gonna need a charging cord, USB type C. And for the initial setup, we're gonna use a mouse and keyboard peripheries, and we're also gonna connect the Pi to the internet. So before doing anything, make sure that the latest version of Noobs is installed to your micro SD card. A great tutorial on how to freshly download and set up Noobs to an SD card can be found in the description of this video. Now, I will teach you how to directly transform your Raspberry Pi 4 Model B into a HD video looping monster. We will start by plugging in all the necessary cords into both the Raspberry Pi, the monitor, and the peripheries, mouse and keyboard. And the final cord to plug in is the USB-C, which will give juice to the Raspberry Pi and power it on. So everything's plugged in except for the thumbstick with the videos that we'll do real soon. And the USB-C, which we're gonna plug in right now and Raspberry OS will greet us. And once the booting sequence is over, we will be welcomed with that familiar background. Now, first things first, we're gonna connect it to the internet using the internet connection button, which you can see up here. You can close that, we don't need to pay attention to that currently. And click here. We're in Australia. Select for wherever you are. Then we're gonna connect it to the internet using the internet connection button found in the top right and following through some prompts. In my case, I'm gonna connect it to my phone. Once you've connected to the internet, we're gonna open up the Raspberry terminal using this black thing over here. You can close that. That black button opens up this. So with this open, we're gonna type a couple of things directly to the console to update all the installers and to get the media looping software. So follow along with me. Starting, we're gonna type sudo apt-get update. Make sure to type all of the spacebars as well. Once you finish that line, press enter and you'll see it's installing some packages. So this will only take a minute or two. Nice, now that's done. We're gonna type sudo apt-get install spacebar hyphen y git. Nice, with both of those, we will now download all the code for the video looping software by typing the following, git clone HTTPS semicolon double slash github.com forward slash Adafruit, God bless them, forward slash pi underscore video underscore looper dot git. Enter. And from that, we're drawing all the software from the internet to do what we want to do. Nice, and that's already done. So with all the code in the system, we're gonna finish the looper installation process by typing the following. CD P P I video underscore looper. 
So this accesses the folder. So we're inside the folder now, and inside that folder is an, basically an icon which we're gonna basically click using the terminal, but we're just typing it all. And by pressing enter, it's gonna start installing our video looping software. Now this should take less than five minutes. Once the process is complete, you should see the installation stop with the message finished. Then the whole screen will turn to black and display a new message. Insert USB drive with compatible movies. Press escape to quit. So if you see this message, then the installation succeeded and your media looping monster is on the hunt looking for videos to loop. So there's been a little shuffle of the setup here so I can show how easily the setup is to use. Hopefully everything's looking clean. I think it is. So, as you can see, we have the Raspberry Pi here, but we only have two connectors coming into it. I have completely gotten rid of all the peripheries. We don't need them anymore. So the peripheries can go on the table, go on the ground. So right now it's asking insert USB drive with compatible movies. So right here, I have a USB drive with compatible videos. And what I'm gonna do is stick it in just like this. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. We're keeping it Halloween over here at Core. And as you can see, it's running perfectly fine. And there's one video and it's gonna jump onto the next video. So as you can see, the whole system is now plug and play. Once the new USB has been inserted, there will be that five second countdown, which you can alter if you'd like. And from there, the videos will start. So I'll pull it out just for a second. Video is encoded with the H.264 video codec and in video formats with an extension like .avi or .mov or .mkv or .mp4 or .m4v. All of these, all of these are perfect for the system. So the Raspberry Pi will keep going through the list of media until it receives no more power or the Raspberry Pi shuts down. And if you want different videos to run, just take out the USB, throw in a whole bunch of new videos back into it and then plug in that new USB. The Raspberry Pi 4 Model B will automatically deal with it and request a USB like it should. It's very swell. And with the Raspberry Pi looping monster going hard at it, that's it for today. Throw us a like and subscribe if you dig what we do. And also, if you want a write-up of this video, check out the description. So, until next time, stay cozy.